Yo creo que es, que es importante que la madera eh, que se coloque en los mercados sea legal. Y es importante que haya cadenas de suministro que te permitan hacer el seguimiento del origen de la madera y colocar en los mercados madera legal. Pero también creo que, que debemos ampliar el concepto. ¿no? La madera tiene que ser legal y también tiene que ser sostenible, o principalmente tiene que ser sostenible. Y muchas veces legalidad y sostenibilidad no van de la mano. Creo que el concepto tiene que ser integral. La madera tiene que ser sostenible, tiene que ser legal, porque cumple con las leyes del país de origen seguramente, pero debe cumplir con las leyes del bosque y de la naturaleza. Y eso implica una tarea mayor. Y también es importante tener trazabilidad y que el mercado entienda esa trazabilidad. Si el mercado recibe madera sostenible, legal, debe premiarla. La madera de los bosques tropicales sostenible y legal es mucho más que un commodity. Es probablemente agua, salud, buenas condiciones de vida, eh, procesos industriales más limpios, huellas de carbono reducida y un beneficio compartido para todos en el planeta. Por lo tanto, eh, hablemos de legalidad, sostenibilidad y comercio justo. Timber legality is a vexed question, but I understand the reasons for it. Uh, the big losers in the illegal timber trade is the legal timber trade. The illegal operators can undercut us in pricing. They don't have to, com there's no cost of compliance with domestic laws and even international laws. So the legitimate industry is also a loser from the illegal trade. I would make the point that I think the extent of the illegal trade is grossly overstated, uh, particularly in the case of PNG. On sustainability, which is part of the, the green supply chain. I think it's just a fact of life that that is what markets are now demanding and we either comply and meet those market requirements or we will not very long survive in, in the business. It, it's as simple as that. If we look at the at, uh, plantation forestry sector, it's different from the, the natural forest sector. In the plantation forestry sector, uh, I think what is holding back uh, investment is uh, that it is uh, quite capital intensive and that you need to wait a long time before you get your investment back. Uh, in the tropics, generally investors perceive uh, investments as uh, high risk, uh, also in this sector. And then because there is a long investment period, they, they uh, in their terms, they say, okay, the risk return profile is not uh, conducive, it's, it's not positive to them. Um, so and that's why nowadays it's important when we talk about investing in forests, we need to place emphasis on the, the impact, the positive impacts that we create for the planet, for people, employment, for uh, restoration of degraded lands to actually um, get more value uh, or valuation of these benefits to and, and, and to convince investors that they, because of this impact, uh, they accept that, um, yeah, there is some hurdles to take and they, they, they may accept a, a, a lower return uh, and therefore also move into it. Uh, timber, timber products are, can only provide all these values I was talking about if they're, they are sustainably produced. Uh, and legality is one aspect of sustainability. Uh, to, that, uh, to that end, it's, it's very important that uh, we, we have a certain, let's say, monitoring or proof of legality of the wood resources, but also along the value chain. Not only wood production can be illegal, also <laughs> other, other parts of the value chain can, can, be, can be illegal. And uh, uh, therefore, it's, it's, it's uh, very important to, to deliver this proof and 
to that end, we have to develop legality assurance systems, or as it's called in, under BPAs and flagged, or basically any type of monitoring of, of, uh, of value chain and supply chain legality is, is, is uh, of crucial importance.